Hey everyone, Chris from Bagel Games here. Today I'll be reviewing Blood USA's M660 chronometer headset. Let's start off with the style. It's steampunk inspired and has a very unique appearance. The cogs give a very unique look, which are enhanced by the LED lighting that you get when you plug in the USB connector. You don't typically see hardware manufacturers put this much effort into the physical appearance of a headset. Typically you'll see you know, one or two colors, a matte finish, nothing really that stands out. But Bloody USA actually went the next step and really made something unique here, which I really appreciate. The LED lighting on the headset is very surprising yet appreciated. I mostly only use it when I was streaming, but it was a very nice touch to my player cam. The output quality of the audio is actually really, really crisp and clear. I was a bit surprised considering that I had never heard of this company before. The headset produced very deep lows when I was listening to music, and very crisp highs while I was playing games. I was also surprised by the volume. There is a volume switch on the headset itself, so you can control how loud it is on the fly. Typically I put my headset's volume all the way up, but with this headset I put it about 90%. I was pretty satisfied with the volume without having to put it up all the way, which is surprisingly rare. The M660s use something that Blood USA refers to as mach -E technology. They refer to this as the heart and soul of the headset's sound. It is comprised of carbon fiber, high CIS TPU, and a dual core full range diaphragm. This explains the great clarity of the audio output. Unfortunately, I feel like the headset fell flat in recording quality. I spend several hours a week streaming. Typically, I have one of the clearest headsets in the room. Unfortunately, when I was using this headset, there were several times where the people in my group chat had much clearer audio than I did. Here's an example. Because this is the last I think Okay. I bought armor last time and... Buy whatever you can buy. I have a helmet, though. I have a helmet still. All right, they're all over there. They're all over there. Right, let's go flank them. As you can see, my audio was a bit muffled and hard to hear. While having an omnidirectional noise cancelling mic is obviously nice, it's unfortunate that the quality of sound was actually reduced. As a comparison, the turtle beaches that I own are around the same price as these, but the recording quality is much better. That sounds terrible. Oh, I lit myself on fire. Shit. Guys, I'm trying to snipe here. Ah, you, you're there. all staying my way. Get out of here, man. I'm sniping too, dude. However, the troll beaches are not as aesthetically pleasing, they're not as loud, and there is no volume of control in that headset. And finally, I want to talk about the accessibility. The headset is very large, so it's not the easiest one to carry around. While it could fit in a backpack, I worry that the metal frame would bend if given too much pressure. The headset has a 3.5mm wire that is about 4 feet long, but it also comes with an extender that's about 7 feet long, and it has separate wires for both the mic and headphone wires for your PC. 11 feet is definitely more than enough to accommodate for most gamers, and is much longer than any headset I've personally ever owned. Overall, the headset is pretty great. It's affordable, it's stylish, and it sounds great. However, as I said before, the recording quality is kind of poor, which is really unfortunate if you're a streamer or even if you play multiplayer games a lot online. Because of that one flaw, I couldn't really recommend these to any streamer at all. It just looks unprofessional when you're streaming and everyone else sounds much better than you. However, for almost every other instance, whether you're playing a single player game, play multiplayer games online casually, or even if you just want to listen to music, these headphones are great. Overall, I give these headphones a 7.5 out of 10. These will now be my go-to headphones whenever I want to edit videos or play single player games. I definitely recommend these to any casual gamers looking for a stylish headset with great sound. For more tech reviews and gaming news, be sure to subscribe to Bagel Games.